look at the five people working in Perseus Inc. as described below. Gavin Smith, Rachel Blake, Leo Cooper, Gloria Logan, and Kyle Watson. Hi, I am Gavin Smith. I am a member of the board of directors at Perseus. I am one of the people in the organization who are responsible for laying down the objectives and broad policies of the organization. I also play a part in preparing the strategic plans and the preparation of department budgets, procedures, schedules, etc. I am responsible for taking into consideration available and prospective human and physical resources of the organization so as to get effective coordination, contribution, and perfect adjustment. Hi, I'm Rachel Blake. I work as a Human Resources HR Manager at Perseus Inc. I'm responsible for the managerial function of staffing, which involves manning the organization's structure through proper and effective selection, appraisal, and development of the personnel to fill the roles assigned to the employers or workforce. I'm responsible for motivating and identifying the training and development needs of the employees. Hello, I'm Leo Cooper. I work as a project head in the operations department at Perseus Inc. I'm responsible for the execution of plans of the organization in accordance with the policies and directives of the organization. I also take care of the coordination of the activities within my department. I'm responsible for classifying the authority as well as the coordination between authority and responsibility. Hello, I'm Gloria Logan. I work as a manager in the operations department at Perseus Inc. I'm responsible for the controlling function, which includes verifying whether everything occurs in conformities with the plans adopted, instructions issued, and principles established. I ensure that there is effective and efficient utilization of organizational resources so as to achieve the planned goals. I'm responsible for measuring the deviation of actual performance from the standard performance, discovering the causes of such deviations, and help in taking corrective actions. Hi. My name's Kyle Watson. I'm a supervisor at one of Perseus Steel's manufacturing plants. I am responsible for assigning the jobs and tasks to various workers at the plant. I guide and instruct the workers for day-to-day -day activities and am responsible for qualities as well as quantity of production. I ensure that discipline is maintained among the workers at the plant and communicate workers' problems, suggestions, and recommended actions to my managers. So, you can see that all of the five people, Gavin, Rachel, Leo, Gloria, and Kyle, help manage the functioning of Perseus's business. All five of them perform managerial activities and functions to help in the smooth running of Perseus's day-to-day -day business activities. However, they are different from each other. How do you think their responsibilities differ from each other? Authority. Yes, each one has a different function to perform and a different chain of command that he or she controls. Each one holds a different amount of authority and enjoys a different status in their managerial position at Perseus. The difference between the three managerial positions and its functions at Perseus is due to the various functions of management. The term functions of management refers to a strict separation of the functions and the kinds of work performed by various positions in an organization. The five key functions of management are planning, staffing, organizing, controlling, and directing. Hence, to understand the management of any organization, it's very important to understand the different functions that are performed by management and how they contribute to the overall working of the organization. Let us learn about functions of management in detail. Let's review the course objectives. Functions of management. The following are the key functions of management. Planning, staffing, organizing, controlling, and directing. Planning function of management. Planning means looking ahead and chalking out future courses of action to be followed. It is a preparatory step. It is a systematic activity which determines when, how, and who is going to perform a specific job. Planning is a detailed program regarding future courses of action. It is rightly said, good planning means half the job is done. 
The very first step in staffing is to plan the manpower inventory required by a firm in order to match them with the job requirements and demands. Therefore, it involves forecasting and determining the future manpower needs of the concern. Orientation and placement. Once the candidates are selected for the required job, they have to be fitted as per the qualifications. Placement is said to be the process of fitting the selected person at the right job or place, that is, fitting square pegs in square holes and round pegs in round holes. Once they are fitted into the job, they are given the activities they have to perform and also told about their duties. The freshly appointed candidates are then given orientation in order to familiarize and introduce the company to them. Principle of Specialization According to the principle, the whole work of concern should be divided amongst the subordinates on the basis of qualifications, abilities, and skills. It is through division of work specialization can be achieved which results in effective organization. This is just a demo of the complete course. With every course, you get to view the course content online, download the PowerPoint presentation, and get the course completion certificate. With new courses added regularly, we offer a continuous learning platform. Join our premium membership plan and get access to unlimited courses. All of our plans are backed up by a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you are not completely satisfied, we'll give you a full refund. We are so confident that you'll enjoy the membership that we're willing to let you try at our risk, not yours.